Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Today's Morning Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 39, O Come, Come, Emmanuel. We sing verses 3 and 4. O come, O come, thou Lord of mine, who to the tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times did give the law in cloud and majesty and all. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou rod of Jesse's stem, from every fall deliver them. Power save, and give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to turn our hearts and hands from deeds of violence to works of peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to help us lay aside the works of darkness and to live honorably as in the light. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to gather into your kingdom those who are vigilant and ready for your return. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose ineffable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity, filled with the light of the Holy Spirit, grant, we pray, that by her example, we may in humility hold fast to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world, or as high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary men? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. Enter, he is the King of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it, for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior, such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks for the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O King of David, open the gates of God's eternal kingdom. Come and free the prisoners of darkness. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthy and fitly proclaim this holy gospel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and have a son, and you shall call, name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for who who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat>
You just heard the gospel. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and asked her if she'd be willing to be the mother of our Savior. Now, Mary was in a kind of difficult situation. She was engaged to Joseph, but they hadn't lived together. And uh, here the angel asked her to become the mother of, uh, of Jesus. And um, if she would have said, yeah, if she did say yes, she could have gotten into big trouble because in those days, if a woman were not engaged yet or were not married yet and had a child, uh, well, that was bad news. She could have been taken out and accused of a sin and been stoned to death. But Mary doesn't think about that at all. She says, I'm the servant of the Lord. Whatever God wants, I will do. So I think there's a lesson for all of us, too. We should always try to put God's will first and not our own will. And right now, for most of you students, God's will is listening to your moms and dads, your teacher, people who are in charge of you, if you have a babysitter or whatever, to listen to those people, um, respect people in authority, um, and um, do what they ask you to do. So it means doing your homework when you're supposed to do it, and not lying to your mom and say it's already done when it isn't. Uh, it means uh, obeying God's will too, praying to him every day, keeping the Ten Commandments. And you guys do know the Ten Commandments, don't you? Could you recite them for me so the grown-ups can remember them? Number one. Can you say it louder for the grown-ups like me who can't hear? Number two. Number three. Yeah, number four. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Number nine. Number 10. No, number five is when you can skip, right? You never kill anybody, do you? Yeah, we need to think about that. Sometimes we kill people's spirits by calling them stupid names and things like that. So avoid that one, be careful. Okay, now what you should do with those Ten Commandments is every night before you fall asleep, is you can go through those Ten Commandments and ask yourself, did I break any of those today? And then if you did, pray the act of contrition and tell God you're sorry. You do know the act of contrition, don't you? Can we pray that together? Oh my God. Now, my question is, and don't raise your hand unless you really did it. Because if you didn't really do it, you'd be telling a lie. But how many of you actually last night before you went to bed, went through the Ten Commandments, and then prayed the act of contrition? Yeah, I think that's something God wants you to do. So that we always can think of what we're doing wrong, and then we can do better. Now, one of the reasons why we examine our conscience and go through the commandments is so that we can see, we can also see the good things we've done, but we can see the bad things we've done so we can do better tomorrow. I often thought of the coaches in Nebraska football, if every once in a while they look at the game film and examine their conscience, look at all the mistakes they made, and then look at all the good points they did, I bet there'd be a better team. I think someday I'm going to write to the coaches and suggest they do that. And we have to do the same in our spiritual life. Examine our conscience, go through the Ten Commandments, tell God we're sorry for the bad things we've done. Also thank him for the good things we've done and try to repeat them again. So that's one of the ways we can say yes to God's will, as Mary always said yes to God's will. We ask her to help us to be able to do that.
Let us stand and pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, as we honor Mary for always putting your, fear, your will first, help us also to try to do your will first rather than to do our own will. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Pope Francis, Archbishop Lucas, Father Joe, and all priests that they will always show God's love to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for world leaders that they will take care of those who are most in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for for those who are sick, lonely, imprisoned, or hungry, that others will have care and compassion for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that through our words, actions, and spirit, we may inspire in others a desire to follow Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in thanksgiving for all the blessings in our lives, especially our families, friends, and school community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we silently hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for, Mary, or for Mildred Mix. She'll be buried from her parish today. And for a lady who will be buried here tomorrow. We pray that they may know the joys of eternal life. And we pray for their families. Or sad that they died, we pray to the Lord. Lord. We offer this Master's name this morning for the Marvin Bender family. We pray to the Lord. Lord. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have the spread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Look, O Lord, we pray upon the, the one sacrifice of your Son, that by participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited and for which our faith bids us hope. We ask this through Christ our Lord. It's a lucky fly, it got away. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice in the mysteries of the Nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who and, and all who died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you're already there, deny myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. A communion hymn is number 51, Waiting in Silence. Waiting in silence, waiting in hope. We are your people, we long for you, Lord. God ever with us, Emmanuel. Come, Lord Jesus, Maranatha. Waiting in silence, waiting in hope. We are your people, we trust in your love. 
O Son of Justice, true Prince of Peace, come with your justice, Lord Maranatha. Waiting in silence, waiting in hope, we are your people, we seek your truth. Wisdom incarnate, teach us your way. Show us the path to life, Maranatha. Waiting in silence, waiting in hope. We are your people, we long for new life. O King of David, open our hearts. Give us new vision, Lord Maranatha. Let us pray. Grant divine protection, O Lord, to those who renew it, this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for our parish center. Loving Father, we come, come to you in adoration. adoration. May our May hearts, hearts be open to your guidance on this journey. journey. You have bestowed, bestowed on your church, church community the gift to openly worship and praise your name. We humbly mm -hmm. give thanks for the opportunity to serve you with our gifts and talents. Jesus, Jesus pour out, out your Holy Spirit as we gather in prayer to build a faithful prayer center for all generations. generations. Most sacred hearted Jesus, pray for us. Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. Saint Isidore, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord by your works. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 68, Creator of the Stars of Night. <clears throat> Creator of the stars of night, your people's everlasting life, O Christ, Redeemer of us all, we pray you hear it when we call. In sorrow that the ancient curse 
should doom to death the universe. You came, O Savior, to set us free, your own and glorious liberty. When this old world, you came, but not instant of night, not as a common, but the Come in your holy mind, we pray. Redeem us for eternal day. Defend us while we dwell below from all assaults of dreadful doom. Today's morning mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. <laughs> 